My name's Tony Sharples and welcome to Old Dog New Tricks. For the past couple of weeks, my son and I have been traveling around Asia and we've been visiting both China and Japan. And what I wanted to talk about today was a great experience we had at a ramen cooking school in Kyoto in Japan. It's been a great trip for me. I really think there are several important digital marketing and business learnings from my experience in Kyoto. First, as always, if you're going to get into an area of business, then pick something you love doing. The girls that ran the cooking school clearly loved it. They weren't just running it for the money. When you think about your business ideas, don't just buy into something because it sounds like it could be successful. Focus on things that you really like to do. And secondly, you have to consider the fact that digital can open up your business to a truly global audience. So you should be having a good hard think about how you can structure the business to think outside the area of your city, your country, or your local marketing area. Thirdly, I think one of the things that the Kyoto experience really reminds me of is the fact that digital really opens up a whole world of business opportunities for you. I mean, for example, we found this experience in Kyoto via Airbnb experiences, while we were actually looking in Air on Airbnb for a place to stay. I'll add a link to the Airbnb page below for you, or you can just search Kyoto on Airbnb. There you'll find an amazing selection of small local entrepreneurs who are cashing in on this great new business opportunity. And the great thing about these digital platforms is they let people leverage two really important things. Firstly, it lets people leverage their life or work experience and do something that they really love to do. And adding on to this, these new in digital infrastructures deliver the massive potential of a truly global customer base, a free global marketing platform, and even inbuilt payment systems to make setting up or expanding a digital business much easier than ever before. And the same could also be said for other platforms like Etsy or Pinterest or eBay or Amazon or even the Apple Store. Next big learning for me is the importance of thinking about a real end-to-end -end solution for your digital business. It was really apparent that the girls running the ramen cooking school had really thought this through from start to finish. And I'll put links in the description to some of the things that they've done. As a first step, they leveraged the global potential of Airbnb's massive customer base, which was a great idea. But then they've really leveraged the cooking school experience for visitors when they're there to spread the word about the experience to their social networks via Instagram, via Facebook, TripAdvisor, YouTube, Yelp, and even Google Search. And at the end of the cooking experience, they gave everyone branded aprons and ramen cooking warrior head sashes which were awesome tools to allow people to spread the word even further when they got back home. And then really importantly, what they did is they followed up after the experience with thanks for positive comments that people made and also following up via email with all of the recipes from the course. All of this combined together to create massive shareability before, during and after the activity itself. My final learning from the experience in Kyoto is a bit more esoteric. The biggest factor that's obvious from what the girls are doing at the ramen cooking school is that they have really thought about what sort of business they're actually running there. In my mind, they aren't really running a ramen cooking school. What they're actually running is a food entertainment business. It isn't about learning to cook ramen, but it is all about having a fun bonding experience with family and friends. And I think that's a great lesson for anyone thinking about setting up a digitally driven business or expanding an existing business more into the digital domain. You need to think about what business you are really in 
and often that can be very different to the product or service that you're actually selling to your customers. So for example, are you selling food or are you selling convenience? Are you selling software or are you really selling time management? And in the case of the Kyoto Ramen Cooking School, are you selling cooking lessons or are you selling a family and friends bonding experience? As I mentioned earlier, I'll post some links to some of the things the girls have done to, to deliver an end-to-end -end business experience. And the common thing is that most of it isn't rocket science. It's just good business planning combined with a lot of common sense. So, in wrapping up, I think there are two really important things to keep in mind. First of all, make sure you really think about what is the footprint of your business. And it's not just your city, your country or your local area. There are fantastic digital platforms out there today that let you get your message out there, that let you sell to people right around the world. So you really need to have a good think about that. And the second thing, which I think the girls at the cooking school in Kyoto have done so well, is to really think about that end-to-end -end customer experience. How are you going to think about more than just the product you sell um, or the service that you sell and how are you going to take that customer on a journey from when they're looking for your product to when they experience your product and then making sure that you really maximize that shareability out there so that they can take a great experience away and spread it out to as many people as possible. So I hope that helps and I'll see you next time.